So we had a little mishap last night. It was late in the evening, like almost 10 o'clock. And we come around the corner and there's four bulls standing there, just over 200 yards. And one of them is the double shovel, like big fronts. His tops are decent, but his fronts are big. He's standing there. The three other mediocre bulls. And throw the tripod out, put a bullet in, and 228 yards. That's that's a dead bull. And the best part is he's not even a mile from camp, so it's not a bad pack out. Pull the trigger. Don't know where the hell it hit. Put another one in, pull the trigger. I should have stopped right then and checked the turret, but the turret was one whole revolution off and ended up shooting like two foot over the back of this bull. Kind of a heartbreaker. So we watched him cross the canyon where he was yesterday morning, which is a much further pack out. And he went right back over there. Well, I get up this morning to get a look at him. And there's some more bulls over there where they went. But now it's the bull with the huge tops. So this kind of makes me happy that he's back out. We, had, we didn't see him all day yesterday. We saw him the day that we flew, which we can't hunt that day. We looked for him yesterday, couldn't find him. Now he's back out there, so. Waiting for Jay to get up the hill and we're gonna go after him. He's a, he's a stud, so. They're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped. Unless they to rot, all the weeds that they grew are never end. They slave the whole human race, making dollars off our faith, while your hands getting stained. And transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath, or the fool state of mind. But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck, God only knows. He's way over there. Can't really tell, but there's a canyon, a big canyon that drops off. So what we do is we go up that neck and then around. It takes probably about the same amount of time, just probably an extra half mile to three quarter mile distance. But I'm excited to see this bull out here. this big bull that has really good tops and we spotted our double shovel bull up there as well making an appearance but on our way up we found this other nice bull I think the other ones are better up here but he's not bad take a look Big top. 
I'm spotted right here. Maybe 150 yards. So we're gonna ease down to the edge of these rocks and get on him. They take a piss so weird. <laughs>
Nice job, man. Right. Nice job. Dude, he could take a bullet. Dude, the first shot killed him. I don't know. I don't like to see him suffer, so I like to just put him down. Put him down as quick as possible. So I put a couple more right in the boiler room. So we've got a good bull, though. Well, here he is. Jay and I flew in on Tuesday. We glassed up this bull across the canyon and he was kind of up in the rocks by himself. And you can't hunt the same day you fly. So we just watched him and we knew of another really big bull in this area as well. So we kind of spent a day looking for him as closer to camp. No luck. We found a few other good bulls, but this was the best one we'd seen. So couldn't locate him yesterday. We had fog almost the whole day. Cleared up in the evening and we uh, got close to a couple other ones. Glassed this guy up first thing this morning. Came across the canyon and here we go. It's, uh, Jay and I have been up here for almost two weeks now. We're successful with our dull sheep hunt. And now, after a few days of hunting, made it happen on Caribou. So, it's been an awesome trip. Can't thank Jeremy Rusink enough and his wife for putting us up. And uh, we'll definitely be coming back. It's a fun, fun hunt. A little bit of the gruesome stuff, but taped out. See the body there. Took all the ribs out, all the neck meat, tenderloins, back straps. Four quarters, it's all out of there. Jay took off with a hind quarter and a front shoulder heading for camp. I'm gonna take that other hind quarter and front shoulder. That right there is back straps, tender lines, some call fat. Oh yeah, Jay took the neck roast with him as well. Got a whole pile of ribs and spare meat sitting on this piece of cape. But pretty much clean. Well, first pack out. I'm trying to get it done in two trips. Jay already took a hind quarter, a front shoulder, and the neck meat. And I've got the rest of it, hind quarter, front shoulder, back straps, and all the spare meat, tendons, ribs. We both have really heavy packs. I don't know what's worse. It's downhill stuff, or I'm sure. In a minute, I'll tell you this uphill stuff. But, I have to go down this whole thing. It's a lot steeper than it looks. And then back up. Back up over there and back to camp. A couple miles. It's not too bad. Taking the heavy load first and Coming back for all my gear and the hide and the antlers.
back to camp and we'll get the packs back across the canyon to get the rest of our stuff. Hopefully it's not near as heavy as this last load. But Jeremy has to come in and drop me off. It's six. It's about four right now, so Back to the airstrip by six, so we can do a little swap around. Anyway, it's looking like fog was going to come in and not let us fly there for a minute, but it's back to being clear again. So cross our fingers. I'm trying to give you a for instance of just how steep this hill is. Canyon. It's pretty nasty. Hey, good morning, good evening, whenever it is you're watching this. For me, it's morning, I'm getting ready for work, uh, about to head out the door. And I wanted to shoot this quick video just to say thanks for watching the Caribou series. It was a quick three-day hunt. I drew that tag through Alaska Game of Fish and was really looking forward to it for a while. It was a DIY hunt. Jay and I, as you saw, got dropped in there. And <clears throat> we saw a lot of caribou in a short amount of time. Hope you got a laugh at yesterday, my little mishap with missing the bullet 200 yards. Uh, yeah, we, we accidentally turned the turret the wrong way when we left sheep camp and didn't double check it. So it happened to us. Anyways, it worked out. It uh, worked out for the better. As you saw tonight, I shot a bigger caribou, so. Oh, we kind of ended this one a little short again, too, because I showed a little bit of pack out. But as we were leaving the caribou, where, where I shot the caribou, the planes were coming in, and it was like two miles away. So Jay and I were rushing to get back to camp um, and, and make it out of there because the weather was starting to come in again. It was starting to rain. A lot of things were going on, so we just didn't turn the cameras on when we should have. Should have got a little more bush plane footage leaving the field, but it is what it is and uh, it was a successful hunt. Another thing, 
tomorrow we're going to show you a quick video. It's not going to be a day by day thing, but our our friend Cody Vormans, as we were leaving Alaska, Cody was going to the Northwest Territories and he was going on a sheep hunt as well. Sheep hunt that meant a lot to him. Um, Cody's an engineer in Montana. Um, we want to share his story too. So it's a one day film in, in uh, Northwest Territories and you'll have to see what kind of ram he comes home with. It's pretty nice. Thanks again for watching the Caribou series. Tune in tomorrow for Cody's sheep hunt. And oh yeah, I'm gonna give away another one of these organic shirts. Go to the description, see if your comment was the winner. And thank you, we appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoy these videos, give them a thumbs up, it helps us out. Comment helps us out too. We're working hard every day to get more out and trying to keep up with this one a day thing so if you haven't done it yet hit the subscribe button there is more videos a lot more videos to come so thanks guys have a good day